Hi everyone, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel, Paper Sweets. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you're having a great day as always. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing a new crafty box that I'm uh, trying out. Um, I received a message on Instagram from Your Creative Studio. That's the company and they do subscription boxes and I think also one-time purchases. And um, I went on their website and I thought their boxes just looked really fun and interesting. And this is what I received. And like I said, it's uh, yourcreativestudio.com. And it came with this thank you card inside. And this is the packaging. Really cute images. And they're all vintage style. Um, this one right here, I think it's the November subscription box that I received um, because it has this cute little suitcase so each box is um, different and it has um, I guess just um, specially picked items to make it unique and designs but I, I really do like the vintage images and it comes with stamps and like I said just different little items so um, I hadn't opened this up I wanted to open it up on camera so let me share what's in it because this is cute it's a cute little um like suitcase and it is a little metal suitcase with vintage images um all around so super cute that's adorable and i thought um all of these items would um, be really nice for like a vintage theme um traveler's notebook or things like that so this is um, I believe the stamp let me see oh no they're like labels and you get so many like look at this how beautiful you get a red oops you get red um, blue and green so these are really cute. The red and the green could be used for um, Christmas or um, Valentine's Day. The blue would be really fun for like summer 4th of July projects. So you get a whole stack of these cute little round labels. So I love those. And there's a little, um, sorry, I'm going to keep digging in here. And there's this little notepad. I'll try to go a little bit quicker. But as you can see, they're just all like really unique items. And it's a little notepad with images. And the paper is pretty thin, but just really cute to tuck into like um, junk journals or traveler's notebooks, which um, those have been on my crafty to do list for a long time. And I could just see um, these going really perfect with so many of those types of projects. So these are some of the styles you get and you get several of each. Some has like vintage stamps and smaller ones. I want you to get a feel for everything that's in these little boxes. And you can check out their website. I think you can still order um, some past boxes, but they do offer a pre-order right now. There's um, the March box is on pre-order and um, they're not showing exactly what's in it but if you pre-order it's thirty dollars and eighty cents for the box and I believe um, once it comes out then the price does go up you can do a one-time purchase but the price um, goes up this November box is listed at thirty eight dollars I think and eighty cents I'm not mistaken so super cute I'm sure it's worth it with all of the um, the different um, unique little items that they include. And you get some journal tabs here. Um, a whole stack of them. It doesn't say how many, but you can see there are the little folding uh, little tabs. And I think this box had a theme of these bl uh, beautiful blue flowers, which also is pretty unique. I love this blue. So these are stickers floral stickers and blue and then this is washi I almost don't want to open these look at how cute this is um washi and I'm gonna have to open it but let me see maybe I can see the make it look a little cleaner I'll use scissors 
so everything runs all cute so you can even reuse some of this in the junk journal so this is the washi tape with um, like a blue floral print and we've got another little notebook here it's the black and white collection and so you get little cards oh this is cute so some of these are vellum it looks like the top layer is all vellum and I won't go through everything because I think they're all different and they're different uh, types of flowers like this is star anise anemone I don't know if I'm seeing them right but you can see they're like different flowers and plants in these cute little vellum uh, pages and then after the vellum then they come on the same they repeat and these are just on regular um, printed on regular like um, off-white paper so these are cute um, for people that like to do mixed media they could probably color these up or do some kind of like a texture or you know add washi tape or a bunch of different things to these little tags so cute so there's that and then this here is um, a cling stamp my gosh I wish I didn't have to cut through these so and I'm not sure if the image is on here it might be it looks like a little floral with um yes it's this image I don't know if you can see that you guys but that image right there, that's what's on the, st uh, on the stamp. Um, but of course, um, bigger. So here it is also. I don't know if you can see that. But it was like this. So there's like a flower and some leaves. And then it looks like some um, pages or ephemera or something tucked in behind that. Hopefully you can get an idea of the stamp and it's a clean stamp a nice uh, red rubber so you get that And this one is another clean stamp Okay, this one came off easy And again, I'll show you the image Hopefully you can see it a little there. It's so tiny but that does, um, it is the image here, which is uh, just a floral, uh, like flowers with a bunch of leaves, kind of in like an, a little art shape. Can you see that? So this is the other stamp design. And again, it's a cling stamp, red rubber, really nice. So the quality is really nice. And then we've got these um, paper ephemera here, and there's just tags. And this is great if you do a lot of different junk journals and things because you get several, um, and you don't have to worry about like using your only your only piece. You know, you probably tuck these in and still have quite a bit left over. So this is cute, little flower, and it's all muted colors. I also think this would be really cute um, to do in a more shabby chic style. I want to see if they're all the same. Yes. Oh. oh no, there's two designs. So you get this one here, and then you get this one, which is just more of a background. And this one here, which has leaves. And those are the three designs you get here with the paper ephemera and then you get a sticky note pad with this design and you get some pages so these are six by six uh, pages and again I just want to see if they're all the same print or if they are different so you get this design here and you get this And this one, I'm loving the, the like purple tones in with the blue. But yeah, I think this would go really nice, like shabby chic. So those are the pages. 
six by six pages. And then you also get, um, these look like more washi uh, tapes, floral masking tape uh, sticker set. So you get these um, different pages and they have uh, basically masking tape or, or um, washi on sheets. So that's different. I haven't worked with anything like this. So those are the items that are included in the November box from your creative studio. And I will link their website in the description box below so you can check them out. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments if this is something you can see yourself using or... Um, what you think so I think it's, it's interesting and different and I definitely want to try um, some junk journals and I think it would go good shabby chic like adding some lace in there um, not necessarily super vintage but a little more uh, shabby chic love this so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed taking a look and like I said I'll link everything in the description box below so you can take a look at their website if you're interested and if I create any projects with these, I will uh, be back on here and I'll share. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.